Hello everyone and welcome to a Minecraft tutorial here on how to get the best FPS you can with Optifine. And first off, you are going to want to download Optifine. You're going to want to download that. I actually have a um whatever. That doesn't matter. But let's get right into it, guys. So first off, you're going to want to use full screen or full yeah, full screen and if you use any other way like just you like put the minecraft window just like full screen that that won't work you need to press f11 or whatever your key is to make the minecraft full screen so you just see minecraft on the screen and then you want to go into video settings turn the graphics to fast oh shoot i'm just gonna turn these back to fancy i'm gonna turn my render distance all the way up and Alright, so let's see how much FPS we get. So just standing here, we get around um, 200. Let's just say 200. And then, so if I go into my options, my video settings, you're going to want to turn your graphics to fast. And then smooth lighting. If you have a really bad computer, just turn it off, and then this wouldn't matter. But I'm going to turn it to mini, mini, minimum. And then turn the smooth lighting level to uh... let's do 50. 50 is always a good number, it's just right in the middle of everything oh, alright 50 and then GUI scale the smaller GUI might be faster but I don't think so unless you're running on a laptop then I would change it to small but I am running on a desktop so I'm just going to change mine to normal, keep it at normal. The brightness does not affect your your FPS at all. It might affect it maybe one FPS at the most if it does affect it at all. Fog, turn this to off. And then shaders, I have shaders, but you don't have that. Uh, details, turn clouds off. It is the fastest, as you guys can see, as set or no clouds fastest and then trees turn these to fast turn the sky off turn the sun moon off transluctant blocks I just keep it to default because I don't know that's just what I use uh, I've never messed with it before but if you really want to just turn to fast dropped items default and just it's the same thing as I said up here for the transluctant blocks I just never touched it before and it works fine. Dynamic field of view, uh, you can change this to off if you want. I just keep it on because it doesn't really, it's just default and I don't screw with that. So yeah, turn cloud height off, rain and snow off, stars off, show capes. This actually does affect the FPS a little bit, so turn that off. Hold item, tooltips on. Bidjanet fast, turn that fast, and then go into animations, turn all off, and that should change your particles to minimal. But if it does not change it to minimal, as you guys can see here, done animations. Now we go to our render distance. So this is really what is going to change it your FPS. So mine is on extreme, and I'm still getting around 400 F. Wait, what? Alright, let's check this again. Alright, so I'm getting 100 FPS. You know, 70 FPS. Do not know how that dropped. That's weird. Um, but let's put this down to, for me, normal. For if you have a bad computer, like a really bad laptop, I would change it to 5. But I'm just going to leave mine at 8 normal. Max frame rate. If you have a bad computer like really bad like a really bad laptop I'm j I just use laptops as references because they're usually smaller and the screens are smaller but that doesn't always mean that the components inside are better for the screen or the screen size but if you have a bad computer just change it to vsync I leave mine on unlimited I just fastest as it says 
but if you need but it's not always the fastest if you have a bad computer change that to vsync and then if you go into whoops not other if you go into performance turn smooth fps on and that will increase your fps uh, but i'm not going to do that so i'm just going to put mine to unlimited view bobbing on doesn't really do anything but when you run it makes your guy like sway a little bit i guess then options video settings again and then use vbo's turn this to on if you have a graphics card turn it to off if you do not it doesn't really help if it actually probably hurts you more than it helps if you do not have a graphics card just turn it to off if you don't turn it to on if you do cuz it takes more stress off of your cpu and it puts it on the graphics card alternate blocks turn that to off fog start turn that to 2 quality now turn the map levels I would just turn it to off if you're recording like I am I usually turn it to 1 or 4 since I have a decent computer but turn this to off um, yeah, I might lag a little bit because it changes so much in the game but it's not turning off what the heck okay there we go clear water off better grass Turn that to off. Custom fonts. Leave that on. Just gives you more in-game multiplayer. Swamp colors. Turn that. Just leave that on. Or er, actually, no. Turn it off. I've never seen this before, but just turn it off. It gives. It says it's faster if you turn it off. Connected textures. This is if you want to see like, like your glass connected. I just turn it to off, personally. Um. I don't know if, if my Minecraft crashes here, guys. I'm just gonna come back. Oh no, it's, there you go. Uh, custom sky off, dynamic lights off, mip map. Just turn all this to the lowest setting up here. Random mobs off, better snow off, custom colors. Ah, uh, turn that off. I just keep it on. I don't know. I just I don't really think it changes much. Smooth biomes off natural textures uh, I think you can just leave that on if you want to you can turn it off if you want custom items turn that to off uh, I don't know what custom items are it's in your texture pack but just turn it to off and then go into your just in quality so let's go to performance um, fast render let's read this if you turn it to on it is like it decreases the GPU load but it increases the FPS I don't know how it does that but let me just see if it does oh yeah that definitely improves our FPS so far guys so let's go into video settings performance smooth FPS I would just leave it to off honestly if you have vsync though turn it to on but if you do not just leave it off smooth world removes lag spikes uh, turn that on uh, fast math doesn't really do anything dynamic updates don't really care chunk updates turn this to one or actually no turn it to five wait what oh no turn it to one this is it's I got confused by the fastest world loading turn this to one I just leave it on one anyways lazy chunk loading turn this to um, oh yeah if you have a single core GPU I forgot about this effective only for local worlds and a single core G CPU uh, if you have if you know what your CPU is and look it up on the internet and you can see how many cores it has if it has only one then you're gonna have to turn this off but normally it's either dual core or higher so just keep this on and then other lagometer this doesn't really matter turn the weather off I guess yeah turn the weather to off full screen mode I just keep it at default uh, show FPS let's see how much FPS we have right now 600 excuse me that's good um and yeah i think that is actually all guys so i am actually on a really like high 
texture pack like for pixels it is a lot of them as you guys can see right there and yeah I was literally just getting over a thousand FPS guys 800 so 800 plus FPS right now actually no it's just when I'm running around it's 500 plus FPS guys so I went from around uh, 200 I think I'll probably put something up if I'm wrong and yeah so I went from around 200 to 500 and that is a very good FPS increase and yeah so thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoyed and I hope this helps you and peace out